Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm Very P. And welcome to False Narrative. A game about, well, according to the It's Style page, a, a, psycho a dark yet meaningful psychological story driven game about a game developer as he silently reads people people's online talk and plot against him for months, slowly degrading his mental health and pushing him out from virtually existing. One, on one eventful day, this game begins. So yeah, this one... I'm not- I don't think this is- uh, I doubt this is entirely autobiographical, but... You could say that it's metaphorically autobiographical. <laughs> sort of like the Discord one. In that the, the events happening here didn't literally happen, but they are... a false version of what happened, you could say. A false narrative. Uh, but without any further ado... I even do? Tell us what's happening. Every single day I'm reading conversations about myself. Getting popular with the ladies, huh? <laughs> That's one way to look at it. What's the idea behind it? I think it's that I want to destroy them? Huh. You just make games all day. Right. Wrong. Go out and destroy some bad people. It'll be good exercise. What are they saying? Well, a few are plotting. Some are cursing. Most are just participating. What I want to know is where's the caveman? What I want to know, are some of those cats fighting over you? Heh, <laughs> there is occasional infighting. What may trigger that? Hmm, one telling the other to stop for a bit, to calm down, to not talk about me as much. What? Shoot that man! They do. They shoot the people in their own camp, trying to calm them down. Yep, these... Fucking ideologues always devour themselves, or uh, ide ideologies always devour themselves, rather. No, actually, the ide ideologues devouring themselves is also true. <laughs> so you're saying there are no breaks on this? Only escalation? Correct. Without them breaks, the choo-choo will burn and crash somewhere! How far will it go, though? The Sigma Sucker Hate Train. Huh. Yo. Man, I was gonna stream one of Sigma's games today. Don't give him the download. Ask for someone who downloaded it to pass you it uh, to pass it to you in a zip file. Recycling. But I'm not responsible if his, if his ideals that are embedded within the game turn your brain to mush. My brain is already mush. Sigma sucker, we're like Sigma sucks as a human being. <laughs> uh, that's a little funny. I don't hate Sigma sucker, but he do be kind of pretentious. Pretentious is often such a nonsense insult, isn't it? Linking his posts like it's some work of art. What? What's that supposed to mean? Is he not supposed to link his posts? Ah, uh, this reminds me of when people would call me egotistical for liking my own comments. Like, fuck, motherfucker! If I didn't like my comments, why would I post them? Maybe you don't like what you comment, but that's not my problem. His writing isn't very good. And his game is a self-insert. 
What's the problem with that? You know, uh, why shouldn't he make himself the protagonist? They say, write what you know, right? His bio, too. I make deep and meaningful games. <laughs> well, sure, why not? Kinda cringe. Another nonsense insult. But I do not dislike him. I do. He's the worst. Lol. I'm not even going to lie. He's the most pretentious person I've interacted with in probably a decade. That, t that says more about you than it says about him. Wait a minute. Deep? Where did I ever call my games deep? Think they read psychological for deep? You do put psychological in every game. Psychological, psychological just means focusing on a character's psychology. Their inner self, thoughts, and emotions. Nothing deep about that. Eh, that's a bit, that's kind of deep, I guess. Well, I guess you could argue anything that's focusing hard on a, on a certain aspect is deep. As opposed to shallow, which would be, which would be spreading the focus over a lot of things. Or something like that. Uh, deep is a kind of a <laughs> difficult word to pin down, isn't it? Just like pretentious. Maybe focusing on their own thoughts and emotions is literally too deep for them. <laughs> Perhaps. Self-reflection is not exactly a common skill. Maybe so. That's the person leading this. So that's the driver. Looks like someone in a wedding dress. Why, why are they in a wedding dress? Were they planning to get married to you and then you and, and then you left them at the altar and now they swore revenge? Hoping we can call in the big gun. Yeah, Ar get artillery to shell Thalek's house. The big gun? No, the big guns. Do you know TBG? The big gun? Oh right. Uh, yes, and I saw your post. I know they didn't reply, but that's fine. I always had a plan B for that. I'm gonna donate to their Patreon. You... You sneaky son of a bitch. How dare you donate to their Patreon? How, how could you? Oh, neat. <laughs> TVG gives patrons direct access to message them, and it's only a dollar. Big mistake. The end goal of my plan is Sigma Sucker's resignation or removal. Okay then. Yeah. I'm not letting this chapter go. We made way too much progress. <sighs> More time is put between this whole thing starting and now the easier it will be for Sigma Sucker to sow a false narrative. Roll credits. Title drop and all that. Uh... Jesus fucking Christ. False narrative sounds like it'll be a game of it. <laughs> uh. Whoa, they're getting big named individual involved. Uh, some big named individual involved. To talk about the issues they have with me. Are we gonna be famous soon, Salek? Ah, I should have finished more games. Don't you think this individual is the one who wants to be famous? Or they just want, uh, they just want to crash and burn a train. With its passengers and you. Just so they can connect with their idol, TBG. <laughs> Possibly, that's what happened with Pro Jared. You know what I can get started on? Another f I fucking hate Sigma Sucker discussion. Okay then. At Sigma Sucker, take a long walk, walk off a short pier. We don't want you or your fake deep failures of games here. Leave the community or delete your account. You are not welcome here. We all hate you, every single one of us. Also, your games are fucking shit. At Sigma Sector, we take screenshots of your games and share them here to make fun of you. Hey, no publi- uh, uh, any publicity is good publicity. We all- we all- well, honestly, looking through his game code, it's a bloody mess. Well, I mean... 
Hints, yeah, hint games suck and our whiny diaries full of self inserts and Freudian fantasies. Just felt it would be quicker to write stories and dialogue if I placed myself as the main character. How to turn out that content for gamers! Yep, can even use the exact words I'm saying right now and copy paste them into a game. <laughs> Why not copy their words too? <laughs> so, like these developers would ever do self insert, so I might as well copy their words too, huh? Also, the idea that Sig Sigma Sucky thinks he has talent with a hilarious implication. Check out this game I made using AI art and the writing prowess of a seven-year-old who just binged all the Batman movies. Fuck AI art. Fuck you. The biggest issue is, you, like, you should be transparent about it. If you're using art that was made by an AI, you should say that. As far as I can tell, Sigma Sucker doesn't actually put that anywhere. I'm not going to enjoy a game that's supposed to be uh, just be a visual experience when AI made all the art. Why? This is fucking hate boner people have for AI art. It's utter nonsense. They give they give a lot of excuses, but that's all they are, excuses. They're just modern day Luddites. Desperate to cling to... I've definitely seen people praising the art in his, in his games, though, and it always brought me the wrong way. And you can't stand anything that falls outside of your limited view, uh, perspective of the world. So if, some, if art is good, it should be praised. Fuck yourself. Do you think anything different? I don't even... Yeah, to prompt his AI all afternoon. His hand hurts from generating AI art. Also, you know, th there's a possibility that perhaps if he's not saying that he uses AI art, maybe that's because he doesn't use AI art. <laughs> I don't know. Actual thing Sigma has tweeted. Uh, I have no idea if he uses AI art or not. He can have it both ways. You can't use AI to make art, but also complain about hand pains a real artist would suffer. Why not? There's other ways to get hand pains. I mean, I've gotten fucking hand pains, and I don't even- and I don't even make art. <laughs> Not anything I call art anyways, except my writing, I suppose. His usual justification is like, but guys, uh, AI art has given us a world where anyone can make art. Yeah. Fuck up. They, uh... They hated Jesus because he spoke- because he told them the truth. Let's crucify Sigma Sucker. Wow, my gosh. <laughs> My Jesus, that thing was more accurate than I thought. <laughs> With a cross designed in AI art. Since I haven't even used AI generated images in any of my games yet, and just made devlogs saying I've been exploring the tech, I feel all or most of these people's issues are based on things they feel like made one day do. And that you're supposed to keep justifying to them that you won't. I hate this. When a group of people decide to point fingers at someone who is minding their own business and lie about how horrible and evil they are for doing and supporting some bad thing. Just so they can pressure that someone to speak against the bad thing. Huh. So in the end, the person who is minding their own business is now supporting something, some cause, some agenda. Sounds like a dirty recruitment tactic. Ain't that the truth? What are you doing, sucker? I'm uploading AI generated images here of myself. This is a hate train, so let's give these folks more of the content they hate. <laughs> huh. Let's see. Alright. Huh. Oh, that one looks nice. Hmm. 
what it says. This is a gallery of attempts creating pictures of Sakura using text to image. Yeah, why is Sakura not wearing glasses? Good question. Getting glasses to show was often lowering the quality of the face. So it seemed better to produce a picture without glasses first, and then add the glasses sometime later. Alright. Neat. I wonder how we can do him damage. This Sigma Sucker guy is dangerous, but sadly he is also careful. There's too little evidence against him. So we need information and evidence. Maybe the reason why there's no little evidence against him is because there's none to be found. It sounds like lots of undercover work. In that case... Sigma Sucker is attacking us by simply existing. <laughs> Okay. Is there more context to this? Billy Sigma, the hate train is the context. That justifies everything hateful being said. <laughs> it's like it, it's like it's sort of culturally required on the train to speak up negatively about me. What happens when you don't? Push him out of the train. There's a place for love, and this ain't it, buddy. Wahaha. <laughs> Why don't you join the hate train yourself, sucker? Really? Can I? I promise to say the meanest things about you. Uh, I'll keep reminding everyone how awful you are every single day. And by not responding to me, you are admitting to everything. Uh, yeah, what are friends for, Salak? I'll write and keep a long list of bullet points against you that no one could take the time to verify. So people will just look at it and go, wow, there's a long list of bad things. I better stay away from this Sigma dude. Then I'll use this to help recruit and bring more people on this train. Um, also tell everyone how powerful and influential you are. And if we don't band together and stop you and do it quick, then you will rise to power and abuse it, and maybe kill everyone and their pets. Especially them furries. <laughs> I s uh, hey, I'd vote for him. Hasn't all that already happened? Oh, huh. Well, so you're saying I can't? <laughs> Best way to deal with Sigma is just ignore him. Good advice. He's insignificant in the grand scheme. I will just personally not associate with him. And will shit talk him and his mama. Someone else was like, y'all are just jealous trying to cancel Sigma because his games are way better than yours. Sigma's games seem to appeal towards 14 year olds who watched Evangelion for the first time. Or is it Evangelion? Evangelion. Evangelion. That's what it's pronounced. Evangelion. I'll pronounce it that way for the rest of time. Compare and contrast Omori, which is a massive commercial hit with a cult following, which has an opposite thesis to whatever Sigma Sucker is writing. Uh, how would you know that? If you don't know what his thesis is. I've never played Omori. I wouldn't know. But mass. Uh, but. Just, uh, it being a massive commercial hit is, <laughs> is arguably evidence against it being good in some cases. <laughs> or at the very least, are evidence against it actually being deep and meaningful. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of games out there that claim to be, be really popular games that claim to be deep and meaningful, but are actually peddling utter fucking nonsense if you actually look into them. Like Undertale. Undertale's a big offender. One of the biggest. It's, it's, it's thesis is completely deranged and detached from reality. Uh, there's a few, I mean, there's a couple of actually good points that you can derive from it, but the ones that most people do, it's just that it seems that it genuinely does seem to be pushing is utterly fucking nonsense and dangerous, not genuinely dangerous nonsense. That. But, any, but enough about Undertale. Omori I would describe as being much deeper and more meaningful. Yeah, sure. I'll bet. Hearing my games being compared to such popular titles, it's... It feels nice! Is there a benefit, even if it's negative? As people are looking up content similar to the, these popular titles, my work can pop up. Wait, why aren't you doing that yourself then? Uh, usually developers do this by saying inspired by popular titles when talking about their game. That's tough for me to say, because I'm more the type of type 
if I've seen it done somewhere else, I'm not going to do it in my game. That, complica that complicates market marketing your work, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, I think. Since I can't compare it as similar to anything else. If I could, I wouldn't have made it com comparable in the first place. Then, pray being cancelled backfires and makes you more popular instead. Because if it's not this, we're practically doomed. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just remembered. It said I talked to all of them twice. Forgot about that. I don't know if anyone has organized a review bombing session. To put up a face when he's thankful for where he's thankful for critique, but I'm 100 percent sure it's a farce. The way you responded to my critique isn't normal. It overcompensates. The way he treats his craft is like a religion. <laughs> that, <laughs> religions aren't known for being uh <laughs> for being uh thankful for critiques, even on the f even as a farce. His brain just doesn't work right, like, I don't know how to explain it, he has a clear social issues that bleed out from his extreme politeness and passive-aggressive emote attitude. That says more about you than it says about him, frankly. Hitchforks and torches out for Sigma Sucker. Figuratively, of course. Weren't you the guy that said that we should just ignore him? I've been visiting his Reddit to downvote him for a while now. Get a life. This guy is dangerous, but he's also careful. I'm already spreading his name in my circles to blacklist him and his work. His work is so fucking bad. Like, I will always be honest about people's games. His are fucking shit of the lowest degree. The lowest degree! That says more about you than it says about him. Even if they were bad, like... Have you seen some of the goddamn shovelware that's out there? <laughs> what utter fucking nonsense. I refuse to believe people play and enjoy them. Believe it, motherfucker. I just have to wonder what, his li what kind of life he walks. A short one, if God is good. I hope Sigma Sucker gets ostracized from his own community. He deserves it and more. He's not fit for human interaction. Motherfucker, you haven't you've not even fucking interacted with him. You wouldn't know what he's like. Sega sucks. Lil, imagine calling your own work deep and meaningful. I mean, if it's true, if you think that it's deep and meaningful, why not say it? Man, Sigma really likes it deep and meaningful. Okay. Wake up, babe. New plot twist from Sigma's game dropped. Couple of things I've noticed: how the how the pe way how the way these people talk. Something special about it. It's different. How how the way these people talk. Uh, I think I think you might have just. I think you probably should have just said the way these people talk or how these people talk. Shouldn't have done both. Different how and compared to what. Hard to explain, but I'll try. A silly or extreme example, I suppose. Instead of, hey, are you married? They will ask, why do you beat your wife? Why are those two related? Because in response to both of these questions, you give them the answer they want. Which is revealing whether or not you're married. I wouldn't. Answer to the former, I'm single, not married. Answer to the latter, wait, what? I'm not even married. I think the answer to the latter would be to just not respond, because that's not a question that deserves responding to. <laughs> Why would someone not just ask the simpler question? I don't know, because I thought the, the more complicated one would be funnier? I don't know. Because a simpler question can easily be ignored, and asking it reveals you have an interest in the person. Asking the more accusation style question gets the person to respond immediately on impulse, while hiding your true intentions. So every question they ask has some accusation attached to it. Rather, they are asking twisted questions in order to hide their intentions. <laughs> and so, answering them directly never leads to any resolution. Going as the wife example, if you instead answer with, I've never hit a woman in my life, while, they an while you answered the ac accusatory question, you did not give them the answer they wanted. I've hit women, women in my life. Uh, yeah, I've hit... Men, uh, men and women. 
matter, which is revealing whether or not you're married, and how does the false accuser respond to that. They double down, suggesting that their question is being ignored, until they keep asking similar questions, and the accusations pile up. So that's just one thing you figured out, and yeah, the, the, the response to that is to actually ignore their question for real. There is one more thing, yeah. What else do you have? Well, I got to talk to- I got to talk to a few of these people, working against me. They were using words that didn't make sense to me. And so I asked them what these specific words meant. And they either couldn't explain or avoided answering. Doesn't that mean they are possessed? Ah, uh, yes. Ide ideologically possessed, you mean? That's what I thought at first. That because they don't comprehend what they're talking about, then they must be possessed or controlled. And then, seeing how other people reacted to those words, I realized the words they are using have some secret meaning that only people in their own group or religion understand. A shibboleth, in other words. Some type of code words, then. Correct. Can you say that what those words are? No, I can't. What's stopping you? Their meaning. And how it activates the people in that group to be violent. So you figured out what they meant, eh, what they mean. Yes, I think so. All the confusing words seem to mean one thing. This is our enemy. That's it. I'm still figuring out the significance of that meaning. And to what end they hide that meaning into a bunch of different meaning words. What is at the end if a shared goal is fulfilled? What is at the end if a common enemy is killed? Oh, okay. Hmm. If I'm understanding this correctly, just as some people find goals for themselves, there are people who instead find enemies. A goal shared with a bunch of people brings them together, gives them meaning, and gives them something to work towards. An enemy that is common does the exact same. A common enemy also brings people together, it gives them meaning, and gives them something to work towards. And also, just as goals can be made up, so can enemies. Do you now understand how important how important it is to some that they sell you as a common enemy. Else, what will become of their relationship and their purpose in life without you as an enemy to unite them against? Very squarey thoughts. Okay then. <sighs> there she is again. Is everything okay? No, not even a little. Wanna talk? I don't know, I just had a really horrible dream last night. I understand, I'm here for you always. And it's the same one from the night before. But worse. I, ha I was having a I was having a thing where I was stuck in a lucid dream and people were telling me that I had killed my wife, but I don't even have a wife. I'm... <laughs> everything will be okay. If it helps, I suffer from horrible nightmares all the time. I don't. I've never had a nightmare in my life. I don't know what... What I usually do is go eat candy or take a bath. Then I'm a little more eased, you know? Yeah, I mean, this is not exactly abnormal. It was just particularly bad. Maybe try taking sleeping meds? I'm not allowed to have sleeping meds anymore. Too many unalive attempts. Unalive attempts. So, uh, which sucks because I really need some, but I fuck that up. Like, I fuck everything up. Oh, boo fucking who. You do not. We all love you. I care about you more than almost anyone. You're valued and wanted. Just as long. Yeah, just as long as you keep being a mentally unwell person that we can feel pity for. Or at least pretend to be one. She seems unwell. Expected. Were you made a leader because you are skilled? Or were you made as such because you are ill? Why does it matter? In the former, your followers lead you to survive. In the latter, they lead you to your suicide. 
There's no shock greater than death. <laughs> yeah. It's almost, it's almost like exalting people for, uh, for just for having mental illnesses actually encourages people to delve deeper into mental illnesses and wind up horribly unwell. <laughs> and they call themselves compassionate. What a sick joke. Another group who is sympathetic to our cause is making moves to file multiple reports against Sigma Sucker's work. You may have some of his games taken down, and depending on how many of them, he may even face account termination entirely. We aim for his head, but we may have just hit the whole body anyway. I have to get Sigma's balls on my bureau. What? One for me, one for... One, one and the other for whoever contributes most. What a, that, so, that sounds pretty gay, man. <laughs> I'm a woman with a bigger penis than you. Alrighty then. Your father can confer. What? Uh, ew. Girls compare boobs, not penises. Women don't compare, they accept. That. Bob. Eat a dick, sucker. More like sucker on D's nuts. Truly, you have a way with words. Also, wait, hang on. There's something back here. And what's this? Don't worry, I come in peace. I watch a lot of people attacking you, just letting you know that I understand and you can count on me. But that's not suspicious in the slightest. It's kind of hard for me to open up to anyone right now, since anything I say privately is being spread around and twisted against me. I notice you're reading, not responding. It's okay, you live you live far away, you won't know. It's very chaotic here. People have said of things around them, they take it out on you. You need to talk in the right way, or they will kill you. Yes, I think you know more about this, since you see how people react. They believe strongly they are right, and want you to die for them. If you won't die for them, they will kill you. Make your death example for the rest. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah. But talking in the right... But, but... You can't ever... Give in to them, can you? Talk, you can't... You know, talk in the right way or whatever you... Or ever apologize for anything to them. Because that's like... It's like they say on the cold shore. You, you don't... You never... Uh, you, you don't... Dissuade hungry dogs by throwing them meat. Eventually, you're gonna run out of meat and they'll devour you. They'll be hungrier and even hungrier for it. Maybe you'll even attract more. Hey, Salad, can you offer me suggestions and help me respond? I'm trying to get posts about people lying about you removed, but I'm getting hostile responses. Can you offer suggestions on what I can say? I don't want to mess this up. I feel like I'm looking at a mirror here, worrying about what people are saying, and being extremely careful with my responses. But this is another person, who is worried just as I am. Then, what would I say to myself? My suggestion to you is, go and make cool games, that's how we win all this, and more. Thank you, Salak. I may still raise some responses, responses to them, but I'm not going to stress about it. I want to play games, create something, and focus on other things in my life. That's good to hear. <laughs> Sigma's writing style remains, reminds me of Hitler's own writing style. Is that a bad thing? I mean, Hitler was a very persuasive person who clearly got a lot of people to buy into his ideologies. <laughs> Whiny, edgy, and meanders around without focus. Game theory. Sigma is literally Hitler. Two of his games I played seem to have a shared theme of using fantasy for escapist pur purposes. Is that a bad thing? <sighs> I mean, why should a man be scorned if, finding himself in prison, he tries to get out and go home? Or if, when he cannot do so, he thinks and talks about other topics than jailers and prison walls? The world outside has now become less real because the prisoner cannot see it. In using escape this way, the critics have chosen the wrong word. And, what is more, they are confusing, not always by sincere error, the escape of the prisoner with the flight of the deserter. 
Tolkien said that, and I think he'd know a little more about escapism than you do, because he invented it. <laughs> this is a man that was fantasies of women, and it's clearly not getting any. What? Women hardly even... <laughs> Whatever. Alright, y'all, I'd love to stay and chat to see where Sigma... This Sigma BS is heading, but it's 2.30 a.m. I got to sleep. Go nuts, go stupid. Again, fuck that guy and everyone who defends him. Pretty sure Sigma Sucker has an actual cult following. <laughs> A loyal army of goons will defend him from everything because he's one of the few people who offer a ray of hope. Okay, you're making him sound pretty good, honestly. Somehow, that's generally how cults start from what I know. You know that's really not, actually. I've, I've, I actually know quite a bit about cults, and you're an idiot. I cannot imagine people being unironic Sigma Sucker fans. Yeah. <laughs> I, I always love it when people say things like that. I can't imagine something as if your own lack of perspective is somehow a, a, a insult to them and not yourself. There are a number of comments I've seen that are obviously not from normal people. Such as a comment under his video devlog that claims that Sigma Sucker is the only serious RPG maker dev and everyone else is making meme game. Well, that's obvious hyperbole. Or that there's no thriving RPG Maker community without Sigma. It's obviously all false. But in a sense, I can kind of see it. Sigma being a cult leader. His blightness is off-putting to most, but has a deep appeal for those who are vulnerable to falling for cults. It really says something about the world today that politeness is off-putting to people. Delusional confidence is very attractive for people with no self-respect or self-esteem. Yeah, hence why you're here. Yeah, attitude towards Slugma is a great litmus test. I saw some people defending him, calling this a woke cancellation attempt and shit. Are they wrong? I have little to no sympathy for them. That says more about you than it says about them. Ligma already has painfully obvious signs of self-esteem issues, and so do his followers who have less backbone than a goldfish. Not being a raging asshole is not a sign of self-esteem problems. I thought my self-esteem was bad. Like, I'm so glad I didn't repress myself into an incel. Yeah, because uh, because not being a raging asshole to people is clearly a sign that you're repressing being a raging asshole. Hey, no insulting the fan. This is weird thing that a few of them have told me, privately, after playing my games. Something along the lines of, I believe you'll make a game that will break the internet. Do they see great potential in you? Right, I think that's what this is, oh, what it is. You will see potential in my work. They are following to see what I end up accomplishing. Do you meet their expectations, or do you smash through them? <laughs> yup. Those are the only two options I have to keep. So your followers are simply curious? Yes, I believe so. And I think that's... innocent. Don't you think that's a crowd, vulnerable to manipulation? Maybe. And so I do my best to not pull on their impulses with the marketing that I do. And that... In my game devlogs, I try and say things that can come off weird, but it's meant to keep the listener's brain to be actively thinking and be conscious. Exactly. Uh, that's the that's the value of of what I do in my day-to-day -day life. Just saying things that are deliberately odd and not within the usual realm of conversation, because it's very easy to just go through the motions if everything is normal. Did you just start doing the, those th these things after the cult related comments? No, I've always done this to some degree. Because how your followers react to you and to others can represent you and your work. So I'd like to mind to be self-aware, to be patient, and be thoughtful. That doesn't seem like a good business or marketing practice. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. And how do you respond? I'll keep doing the healthier thing for as long as I can. Until doing the healthier thing starts to become unhealthy. And then, I'll think about it if I ever do get there. Sigma Sucker has a weird cult following, is somewhat convinced he's the only competent dev. Look, just because people. Uh, just because people didn't like your game doesn't mean they'd hate every game developer. 
This isn't the first, or maybe, or maybe not your game, but your favorite game. <laughs> this isn't the first time I've had run-ins with the literal cult. Yes, it is. Uh, like, no, it, you're right. It isn't because it's not really you haven't ever had that happen. I know from the way you're talking about them that you have no experience with cults except the one that you're in. <laughs> no, it's not a cult. It's a but it's adjacent to one. Not gonna pretend I know how to bring them out. I don't, sadly. Some people are beyond help. Just laugh at them. But like Ligma, cult followers have too many layers of defensive mechanisms to want to critically analyze who their friends are. It's us versus them. <laughs> us versus them. You know what you say? Funny that. I said earlier that I'm 100% sure you're the cult following. Not sure if I said I was 100% sure, but at this point my confidence is 100%. Well that says more about you than it says about them. Hey man, how are you doing? I wanted to ask about some RPG making stuff. Actually, fuck it. I'm close enough to the driver who is trying to take you down. I've heard a version of the story, a version I've questioned multiple times. And every time I ask details, it will be met with silence. And then accusations of me being not of me not being supportive enough. As if being supportive is some virtue in and of itself. Gratitude is if you're not with me, then you're against me. Which is manipulative and abusive, and something commonly done by narcissists. My advice to you is, wait for it all to die down. Society has a very short attention span. Something else will come along and they will forget. It's a relief to read that there's some questioning the narrative. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying and sharing all this. <laughs> At Sigma Sucker, not only do I think you should step down, just fucking delete RPG Maker. So you can spare all of us from your obsessive sniffing of your own farts. Just because you're full of yourself doesn't mean you are actually a talented writer. If any Ligma Sucker fans are reading this, you have to consider that it's generally not good to have community leaders who are widely disliked that causes a lot of chaos and the right thing to do is to step down. Now, that's retarded thinking. <laughs> if a, com a community leader should I mean, for one thing, community- uh, being- those like, oh, leader of a community, it's such a- dubious term to begin with, but I shouldn't, uh, they obviously shouldn't be judged by their popularity, that's n utterly nonsensical, especially by their popularity from people who aren't even part of the community. And causing chaos is hardly a bad thing. There is a very real possibility Sigma Sucker's days as a community leader in this community are now numbered. <laughs> Want to know something depressingly funny? You already know. But I still want to- uh, I want you to still say it. <laughs> that's true. And thank you, sucker. So I made a video devlog recently, recalling and going through five years of my history as an RPG Maker dev- game dev. Hmm. Uh. And at the end of it, uh, announced how I'm stepping away from the RPG Maker uh, developer community to focus more on making games for gamers. And right as I was thinking about how I should go about making my exit, these people, without knowing, started demanding the thing I was already about to do. Uh-oh. Right, I was already about to step down and step away. When these people started demanding it and started accusing me of things, it made it all complicated. Quitting now would mean you either gave up or pled guilty to their accusations. Exactly, then they'll take victory laps and claim how they defeated some great evil, and how they're survivors and warriors, and I can't just give them that. Are you sure these people aren't your fans? Maybe they watched your video and started plotting all this to keep you here. <laughs> Who knows? But that's a perspective I can keep to help me to continue to be kind to them. That they're fans of sort, and meanwhile, what's the depressing part? That I've done enough to serve the RPG Maker community. I'd just like to focus on making games now. Not on all this community drama. It's depressing me that after five years since I started making games, the moment I finally decided to put my focus on purely making games, they do all this and force me to stay. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Maybe you can make a game about all this? Hmm, that could definitely help. Oh, and hey, they already gave you a name for it too, didn't they? They did indeed. False narrative. Alright. 
I imagine sick of the sucker with the shaking in food about now. Wow. Who's helping his own parts now? His rep is now pretty soiled, documented, and known throughout the RPG Maker community. Just putting that out there. I think it would be a good idea to organize a post that would be that would show up first when you look up his name. And that post would relay clearly what type of person this is. And saying this because Sigma, Sigma's status is uh, literally encourages you to search him through his alias Sigma Sucker. Well, that sure didn't happen. <laughs> the only issue is that the post needs to be written and published somewhere where it will be seen and be the immediate search results. I will say, though, that I'm in support of anyone who is against Sigma, though. Oh, so you'd support Nazis, then? If they're, uh, they're against Sigma? That's such, that's, that's such a pretty totalitarian viewpoint. Did I finally ban him from the forums? I feel like I did, but at this point I can't remember. Banning. What a ridiculous... Man. You know what we could do? I have an idea. Fire away, sucker. And she pulls out a shotgun. <laughs> Let's summon the whole Sigma army! Raid this train and push these potty mouths out! I don't have an army. <clears throat> I have a Hulk. <laughs> I am but a servant who makes games for his master's gamers. For his master gamers. You know what I mean. The, the people who follow your work. You tell them to come here, and when anyone has a problem with you, someone behind you goes, You have a problem with him? Then you have a problem with me. <laughs> And then another guy says the exact same thing. You have a problem with Sigma Sucker? Then you have a problem with me. And then another guy says it, and another one, and another one. It echoes throughout the whole train, and then... WAR! So let the chaos begin? I don't believe it's effective to send an army of people towards doing something they aren't trained to do. Um, in other words, if you have an army and you can't predict how they will perform in a specific battle, and that army is not meant to fight that battle. I feel you're complicating this. It is complicated. Since I can't predict how the Sigma army will perform if I summon them here. They could fix the situation, yes, or they could make things even worse. You gotta trust the troops more, Salak. It's not about trust. People who follow me and play my games didn't sign up for bullying internet bullies. They signed up to play games. And so, driving them to do things they didn't sign up for can be suicide. For them, and for me. But if you don't ask for help against a growing enemy army, you're going to keep taking hits and fall, or you can't even do your thing anymore. Which is a loss for people following your work, who, who you won't ask for help. Sure, I don't mean not asking for help, just being smart about it. Bringing them here would just cause more chaos. But here is where the battle is, isn't it? Here is enemy territory. We don't need to meet the enemy in their ter territory, where they are capable. We bring them to our territory. Huh? What exactly is their territory, and what is ours? Their territory is reputation destruction. Ours is games. So it's a territory made up of what we're good at. Right. And so if I bring people here to defend me, the enemy will figure something out to falsely accuse every single one of them. Since they are good at that, causing people on my side to become defensive and react in irrational ways, just as I have. <laughs> and then they'll call the event Sigma Gate. And anyone who is a part of Sigma Gate will be shooed and booed from, from virtual society. <laughs> so if you can't bring the Sigma army here, how else can you ask them for help? Well, they are gamers. So what would be convenient things for gamers to do that would also push back on what the enemy is doing? Like playing our games on video? Hehe, <laughs> that's me. And when the enemy comments with an attack, gamers can just hit delete. I... I haven't done uh, I haven't done that. I haven't gotten any attacks. I don't I don't I don't think I'm popular enough to get attacked. To the shame. <laughs> uh -huh, that's an example. I would probably wouldn't I don't really delete comments anyways, I prefer to just mock them. <laughs> or pulling the enemy into your territory instead of going into theirs. What else? What else? There are game devs in the Sigma Army too. What if they put you as a cameo in their game? That would be fun. <laughs> Maybe I'll put you as a cameo in one of my stories. <laughs> uh, hmm, what else? 
As long as we understand the basic idea, then people will come up with their own creative ways to go about it. Okie dokie then. Don't engage the enemy in their own territory. Pull them into yours. Where it's all fun and it's all games. <laughs> Whoa, back up. Keep doing as much as you want, yeah? Time is the one thing I have in abundance. You've got literally nothing better to do. Same here, because I haven't heard back from work yet after a self-harm episode. I haven't worked in three years, since I'm on disability. I've... <laughs> Me... I don't, uh, me, I'm self-employed. I, I don't have a, I don't exactly have a workplace unless you count my office. I don't even have a proper office, actually. <laughs> Something similar happened at the last job I had. Not self-harm, though. Disassociative identity disorder. Couldn't control it and kept switching at work. Alright. Woke up from an alternate personality having done an overdose. Glad you're okay now. I guess. My game is pretty much entirely about trauma. I've been disabled for a few years now, but having this to pour my time into makes me feel productive. If I finish my first chapter, I'm I'm fucking taking like a two or three week break. You'll get paid easy once you get your project on web and donations slash sales roll in. Yep, people love to throw money at people who want uh, who spend all their time whining about trauma. Ultimately for me, I'm disabled, and if I start making a living off this game, I will be shoehorned into being a developer professionally. I could probably not do re reasonably. That would be tough. Understandable. I wouldn't be stable at all. It wouldn't be stable. Possibility of making a little bit of money that wouldn't fuck up my disability benefits. I'm making so much money I'd never have to worry again. Not worth the risk of landing somewhere in the middle. Especially since it also covers my medical needs. My hormones, antidepressants, sleep aids, and gastric medicine is all covered. Hormones, huh? Mm. Luckily for me, game making is just a side gig, like my fanfiction. The main thing is drawing and writing stories. Though I'm experiencing major art block right now. My first game is likely uh, my first game likely will still will not release before the end of the year. Yeah, game dev takes a while. It's okay. My game is going to be meaningful, story driven, and psychological. Some some might even call it a miracle in video game writing. Over twenty five star ratings. Pigma said all that. <laughs> but his own game, right? Dude's a fool. And a tool. I haven't I've even heard about i I've even heard that he drools. About to drop a Sigma diss track. Imagine him getting drool in his beard. Ew. I'll try drawing uh, I'll try drawing something. Maybe my art block is gone. Good luck. That explains so much. About your beard? If you can call it a beard. <laughs> Nothing compared to my luxurious locks. But why this person has been after me for so long? And why she can't seem to stop? What is it you're focusing on? So, this isn't the first hate train. And this isn't the first driver. There have been a few before this one, over a period of two years. Each time they would round up their friends and followers and try to damage my character. <coughs> Spreading lies, twisting words. Hipping up mobs of people to scare and pressure others into taking action or stance against me. Getting me banned from online spaces. So much that I get banned on spot right after entering some communities. And also getting my work blacklisted so no one else could talk about it either. Ganging up on me wherever I promote my work. And so many people have been making efforts and succeeding somewhat, for a while now. But after like, a week of driving the hate train, drivers would get tired and just stop, and go back to their lives. Wait, hasn't there been months with this one? Yes. In all the previous cases, the, drivers, uh, the driver would stop after a while, because they had a life. They had responsibilities, duties, and offline relationships to attend to. Basically, they had more important things to do. But it seems that this one, our current driver here has, has all the time in the world. So let me wrap this head around this by saying the quiet part out loud here. Because our driver has literally nothing more important going on in her life, we've become the most important thing to her. And you put it like that. Super fan! Think at the end of her conversation there, she noticed us? 
Yes. I'd bet a jar of peanut butter on it. Do you have a jar of peanut butter to bet on it? Yeah. This will just break up the spine and confront her. Yo. I thought there was a spy. But it was you with an alternate account. Recording and sending me my conversations. So you now know she's been saying everything in public? In one of those conversations, you said you don't want creator versus creator beef. So stop. She's probably just lonely and has no one to listen to her in real life. And both of us can go back to working on games. Step down and step away. You do not deserve the power and influence you have. You want to fucking talk. And the respect that people give you. Her focus is your power and influence. Translation. Just go die under a rock. For what? Something people like you made up? Step down, you'll just go gain influence in another community, and they'll hunt you in there too. I know you would never harass or hurt anyone. I know that you likely would not bring any real harm to any of us being in the community, or indeed myself. Isn't that the opposite of what she's been trying- been telling everyone? However, so many people are uncomfortable with you around. And why is that, do you think? And frankly, he, his, his responsibility is not other people's comfort. No one, no one should be willing to take responsibility for, for, uh, for your own comfort, uh, for your comfort. They're not your mom. And even your mom is not, is not really on your comfort, more your growth. Bad people like you should be very uncomfortable. People do not like you. Why is that, do you think? Why even stay? She first made people feel uncomfortable with you, then cite, uh, cited it as a reason against you? You don't have to be so power hungry, Sigma sucker. I don't have at all much influence or power. But the little I have is because kind people in the community thought I'd do good with it. I can't give up on those people. Right, your cult. And many people in the community give me power and support to get rid of you. Right. Then, either you're led to survive, or led to your suicide. What? I feel like using Choo Choo and Cuckoo in, this, in a sentence together. Attention everyone, this is your driver speaking. Sigma Sucker on, is on this train, with an alt. Sigma Sucker is trying to get in the driver's room, to cut the snake's head that is after him. My body, my tail, defend your head! Okay. <laughs> that sounds vaguely cultish. I mean, what would he even do to cut off the snake's head? Are you saying he's trying to go and murder you or something? Violence against Sigma Sucker is just self-defense. What the? Time to get off the- that? Say, what is the single most important thing to you at this moment in time right now? Should it be to survive? It could be. Is it your life that you fear for? No, I don't. I fear for my attention. I spent too much of it wasting on that. Well, I mean that is just- the currency of it. That, is, that is just the con uh, constituent atoms of your life, isn't it? Wasting your attention is just wasting your life. Then say, what is the single most important thing to you now? Uh, to you, right uh, at this moment in time, right now? To cancel. Cancel all the noise. And to that end, you can wield your power and your influence. After all, it's yours to use, isn't it? Trash human with trash game. I love that one. That this is censorship. 
Yes, what you're trying to do is censorship, isn't it? Men, clean the rank! Tigger is getting rid of his critics. No, he's getting rid of. Oh, like a, like a mental breakdown. You lost the chance for reason debate. Right now, you're not critics. You're an enemy to be cut down. Something like that. I'm not. I mean, you're literally telling him to kill himself. Ah, and you're camping the goddamn door like a. Like a cheap bastard at that. Oh, no, shit. Damn it, I missed one. Dear viewers, lovers and haters, I bring to you an unfortunate tale. A tale that makes me sick to my stomach, having to expose to you. That someone in the right mind would abuse their power to such a degree and in such plain sight. And their only excuse for doing it will be that you're too stupid to notice. Or too cowardly to say anything about it. That's right, some of you support this evil, power-hungry, manipulative piece of garbage that I'm going to talk about today. And in this video, if you still feel like defending this cancer on society, then honestly, I don't know. I think this video will convince everyone. Maybe ex except for two people. Now why would I use a second more of my time to tell two people what to do? You're too insignificant and too unimportant. For all I care, you can dive off a tall building and open the parachute too late. Or you can get exactly what's about to come to this piece of garbage human. Right, he's the one abusing his power, isn't he? <laughs> for, you for you deserve to be treated like uh, treated the same as the people you support. Get treated for tr for treating others. Who is this piece of gar garbage? He kinds of human? It... it's... False narrative. Ending one. Abuse of power. Hey, been a while. Yeah, where have you been? Just some real life stuff. What happened with Sigma Sucker's drama? You, you, you don't know? I had to tap out, it was going on for so long. Grew kind of tired of it, you know? Every day I would log on and Sigma was all, uh, all everyone was talking about, everywhere. Knowing what a narcissist Sigma is, he was probably getting off on that. So tell me if anything major happened, other than people talking. Good news or bad news? Give me the good. I don't come here for bad news, coward. Sigma get, made a game in which he puts all his critics as NPCs, and then he chops their head off with a giant katana. Holy shit, for real? Yeah, he made a murder fancy game. He titled it False Narrative, calling himself the real victim. And that's unhinged. The irony in that title. You can't make this up. He became a locale in the community after that. He became a meme, having a mental breakdown. Then got booted all over the RPG Maker community. Places he never even joined. And now he's not welcome. Will be banned on site. Good fucking riddance. One pretentious asshole in this, left in this community is, a gr is great news. We're talking about Sigma again? Stop giving that retard in his game attention. Well, where are the memes at? I just looked up his name here. Honey shared his game right here a while back. And everyone piled on him and told him to kill himself. <laughs> yeah, clearly he's the, the one in the wrong here. Man, that's hilarious. The dude deserves all that and more. Are you done? What the hell? Let me have my fun. There's nothing funny about this. Let's just stop talking about, all, about this. There's a lot funny here. A man baby making a murder fantasy, decapitating his critics, and then putting it out there in front of everyone, incriminating himself. If you can't find the humor in this, something is wrong with you. There's something very seriously wrong with you, isn't it? Isn't there? This is the sort of thing that becomes a part of internet history, where we make fun of idiots like these. They get the attention they've always wanted, and we get to make fun of them, and meme on them, for how long- for just how low they're willing to play for internet fame. God doesn't need an alien invasion when he has idiots like Sigma to unite the world against. He takes this into private. I'll PM you. Huh? Okay. Never mind. I'm done. I feel bad now that I miss the Sigma sucker hate train. But for some reason I can't talk about it here now. Take it into PMs. Okay, okay. How about... Can we talk about the driver? She accomplished all this, right? Waking up every every day, basically rallying everyone against the he you shall not be named. Take it into your freaking PMs! 
Check your PMs, please. I've messaged you there. What the actual fuck? This is all public, wasn't it? I don't want any private information. I only want to know what, what is public. Also, I just want to know what, how she's doing and where she's at. There's nothing to do with Sigma anymore. This... This is fucking why you don't mention Sigma! I'm sorry. Really, really sorry. I'm so confused right now. She took her own life. Happy? What? Uh, you're joking. That was the bad news. Think I'm joking? We're all on the internet. How do you even verify that sort of thing? Because I was her girlfriend. One of two. I miss, I miss our three-way relationship. We talked every other day here. And I also had, had contact with her relatives. I'm the one who had to break the news to everyone. That my girlfriend put a gun in her mouth and blew her brains out. Because every time Sigma was memed on, she was brought up as well. Oh wow. Someone killed, uh, killed herself. Isn't that fucking funny, passenger number one? Isn't that hilarious? Isn't this exactly the sort of thing you, were, you wanted to meme on? Isn't this what, the sort of thing you wanted? <laughs> What's the matter? Can't handle the consequences of your own fucking actions? God, even the, even the voice of the contrarian was able to recognize when his actions had consequences. People kept bugging me on where she was. Then I have to relive the pain of my girlfriend's suicide by telling you insensitive pricks about it. I fucking knew something like this was going to happen. I remember from while I was here, she would go around telling everyone about her severe mental issues. So after obsessively bringing up Sigma every single day for so long, I tried to stop her and calm her. Not only because of how aggressive she was being, it would give Sigma ammo against us. But obsessing this much over someone with a clear symptom of mental decline. When I tried calming her, all of you started dogpiling on over me. As if I was on Sigma's side. All the while, you continued to celebrate her in her crusade against some nobody. Just for your hit of dopamine. FYI, I don't think I was part of that conversation. Huh? Saying I'm the reason for my friend's death? Yes! Flat out, yes. <laughs> it's a hard pill to swallow, but sometimes, yeah. Sometimes you really are the reason someone committed suicide, or at least part of it. She was one of the only few who loved and adored me and offered me support, and was there whenever I needed her. And so when she drove the hate train, I was fucking proud to be beside her, exposing that piece of human being for the genocidal psychopath he is. <laughs> yes. It's almost like being fucking proud to be beside someone while they're going and becoming fucking a deranged lunatic is not good for them. That's, a, someone who really loved her would have gotten her to calm the fuck down. It would have ended months ago if all of you had listened to what we had to say. If everyone in this community just listened to us and banned Sigma right there, none of this would have happened. There's always someone to blame, isn't there? For your own actions. We wouldn't have had to shout his name every single day for weeks, for months. And Sigma wouldn't have gotten the material he needed to make his game. Where he goes on a killing spree, killing me and my friends. The fact that it took that to open your eyes makes you want to blow my brains out too. To be fair, he fantasized about banning you while acting as a moderator in the community. And doing it with a ban sword instead of a ban hammer. Yeah, I remember you. You and this other guy. Always hanging around the driver. Rip. Whenever anyone would say anything against the unhinged obsession of your friend with Sigma, you would come in making some emotional rant in the, in the support of her actions. And then I kept push- and then when I kept pushing back, the other guy would start talking too. Calmly rationalizing both of your behavior. Stringing, a, a stringing words together that sounded like some uncanny valley AI chatbot. Asking to have a calm, civil debate about it all. Which never went anywhere. Referencing complicated philosophies, topics, and historical events no one has time to listen through. To get some vague point about why you three are doing something is nece something is necessary, somewhat, somehow. And how the world, by and by extension the situation, is so complex that it's unfair to make a firm decision against your point. You're an absolute joke. Pathetic excuse for a human being, just like Sigma. I'm leaving this cesspool. Before I lose any more brain cells, listen to people like you. Who think you know it all? And you know shit. Good. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. 
she left. At first I was a bit heated, but now that I've ha let it all out and I'm thinking more on it, I feel it's all true. Pushing someone deeper into their unhinged behavior, as they talk about how mentally ill they are, is a guarantee disaster for that person. Things, things were bound to end this way. I don't know about all that. I think you're overanalyzing the situation within a very narrow and personal context. All based on one negative interaction you had with the driver. That may that may have been the result of collective frustration being unheard for so long. Oh. <laughs> right. There's and so it would be unfair, especially towards the dead, if you let that drive your conclusion on all this. <laughs> You're one to talk about about things being unfair to drive conclusions. Uh, with. And so if you are willing, I would like to have a civil discussion with you on this. Civil discussion means I give my points and you get shouted down. <laughs> and explain to you the other uh, Explain to you to other side. The other side, you mean. Oh, fuck. Here we go again. Ending 1.5 led to suicide. 1.5? All right then. I think there was like three endings or something. Okay. Let's see what happens if I actually manage to get them all. Oh, I love that, that all having a mental breakdown. They do so much to exalt people who agree with them that have mental illnesses, but, but they're so quick to use it as an insult on people who they don't agree with. Funny, that. It's almost like they actually don't give a shit about people. They're not actually compassionate, they're just... They just want an excuse to be... Uh, uh, punished, uh, to be cruel to people that it's socially acceptable to be cruel to. And failing that, create categories of people like that themselves. They don't actually want a kinder society, they just want a one that they're in control of. Miss anyone? I don't think so. Oh, hi. Having doubts? There are those who stare at their coming demise, and there are those who rush towards it. Stare as it come, and time you have wasted. Rush to get it done, and your rise has already started. Where am I? What is this place? Ah! What do you plan to do with that sword? Did, did, did they... Did I trouble you in some way, sir? I'm sorry, I, I can't remember. I'm part of nine persons inside this one body. I don't remember what my other parts do. Communicate by leaving notes for each other. But this, I don't understand. There's too many notes since last time I took over. And all our recent notes are talking about some Sigma Salic person. I don't even know who that is. What is the last thing you remember? The last thing? I'm not telling you. How can we? Maybe if you can tell me where I am. And wh who you are and what you're doing here. What you do here. Maybe then I'll change my mind inside a virtual space right now. It's a space where I volunteer as a moderator, and I've moderated here for the past two years. This sword is a tool for a moderator, used to ban or exile people for entering this space ever again. And that's why I'm here, to ban you. I am that Sigma Salak person mentioning your notes. They will help me kill myself? Uh, what? No, why would I help you with that? According to my notes, the other me left. I read you want to murder me? No, I don't even know who you are. Why are you here to ban me then? Because you've been spreading lies about me. Then inviting your close friends to the space to dogpile on me whenever I try to respond. And pressuring everyone above and beside me to push me out. And ban me. And now this space has become too hostile for me. I've had enough of all this. 
No one else would take action because most are cowards. Their judgment clouded by the fact that they will receive the same ill treatment if they side with me. And so knowing this, uh, this will get me removed on a piece of power. I am here to ban you. Do we give them what they want? I am not driven by what someone wants. I am driven by duty, and I know I am fulfilling it right now. The last thing I remember before today is following a bottle of sleeping meds, wishing I would never wake up again. Your case is similar to how they, my other parts have achieved all the good things we have in our life by destroying and taking from other people who've earned it. Wait, you believe me? Over what's written in your notes? Yes. These notes were supposed to help us better survive in the world. But a while back I found out one or some of us is using these notes to manipulate the rest of us, giving us false, emotionally manipulative narratives about certain people. So we could hate them. So we could hurt them. Imagine finding out you can't even trust yourself. I know what that's like. Although, not exactly the same, is it? But knowing that you can't trust what you perceive. Yes, I know what that's like. How did I... How did you find that out? By talking directly with one of her... Our victims. Having a conversation just like this one. Listening to their side. The few who chose to stay alive, that is. They, the victims, were all nice people with some weakness. She, my other parts, would exploit. <clears throat> it's more effective to target good people who will never hurt you than go after actually bad people who could do real bad things to you. Well. I'm not, cer I'm not certain good people would never actually- would never hurt you, but... Uh, yeah. Imagine finding out that cruel things don't happen to you because you are cruel. They happen to you because you're not cruel enough. Or at the very least, not ruthless enough. And so, finding out about all this, and exhausting all my other options, you've been attempting suicide? I imagine you've already attempted countering the notes by uh, with your own, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe, maybe even destroying the notes if you have and playing them with your own. I guess that wouldn't. Might, I guess it's probably cleverer than that. To kill them by killing yourself. Do you understand? Then, can you help me? No. I know it's a strange request. I don't mean you show up at my place and build a, put a bullet in my head, but just give me access to something like a gun I can use. What? Have you tried just... Have you tried... Uh, expelling all of this, like... Going online while you're in control and just, like, explaining all this to everyone. Ruining your... Uh, try, try going to the next to, like, ruin your own reputation. Maybe that would help. No. Well, maybe. But maybe that would... Uh, perhaps she tried that. Perhaps that's just... Driven people to further sympathy for her for, and get, made it even worse. These people are stupid. Uh, but just yeah, so was, at, at the specific moment, I take over again. Okay, that doesn't sound reasonable at all. I also live thousands of miles away from you. Then what do I do? Your suicide, your business. I'm sorry, I just don't know. Okay. This should be my responsibility alone. How do I get out of here? I'll escort you to the gate. A gentleman. Did it flash for a second there? No, I'm not right. Why are you tagging him? Why are you tagging along with Sigma Sucker? I have business with him. What are we discussing? M alone. Me and Sigma only. I can't see any argument for privacy here. Well, that's because you don't. Uh, that's because you're not in the know, and that's the that's 
That's because it's the reasons for privacy are private. I know both of your real names and faces and where you live. So what's more to hide? There's always more to hide. Can't spare the time to argue or explain. And so I'm moving right through. Maybe that can switch it. Break them up, take it back. Shit. Fuck! Move! 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 There we go. Because I'm in the checkpoint. Their numbers will count for nothing. Okay, maybe it'll count for something. Fuck. Are you sure you don't want to ban me? Hmm. As this is the only space we share, if I ban you, it can be difficult for you to get in contact with me. I would like to do that, but how would you know it's me and not one of the eight others? Code word? I mean, perhaps you could give her some of your contact information so that, and you know, have her not write it down anywhere or anything so that only she would know it. That way she could get in contact with you. That could work. Or a secret name. What do I call you anyway? Nine. You can call me Nine. Nine it is then. Noted. So much blood around here. Meant to be Trace. What? What's that? Hmm. Once we started spending all our time in virtual spaces, some things were assigned to be permanently or temporarily left over, or assigned to cause a dent in a space if certain actions take place. So blood when you ban someone? Correct. That way others can see when the traces left over what happened here. A bit grim. <laughs> and then report to the admins when they see something funny. You're about to be reported for some funny stuff, am I right? Uh -huh, yep. Just the cost of doing funny business. I was thinking, things don't have to end badly for you. I've already accepted what's about to happen. Well, you've accepted, I haven't. I'd also like to be free from this moderator position. It's something I volunteered for, not because I wanted to, but because I couldn't let it fall into wrong hands. Then, after all this, it is in the wrong hands you'll be leaving it to? Maybe. But I don't care anymore. I'm making a public post right now. I'll reveal as much as I can get uh, I can with it. How everything I've said about you is false, and how no one should believe me. Not a bad idea. Thank you. That's what I was suggesting earlier. There's the exit. Oh no. You stay back to finish writing the post? Oh, god damn it. What am I reading here, Sigma? Did you hack into my account to make that post? Fucking sleazebag. Ah, someone else took over. Delete. I'm gonna make sure you rot in jail for this, and your accounts get taken down. Well, nine, I suppose it is goodbye. Find a way to survive through this. Maybe I shouldn't have banned her. I don't know. Nah. Ending three. Nine. Ending thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. The auspicious number. Hmm. Hello, Salak. Nine speaking. You don't need to respond. This will be my last message to you. So before I go, I never come back. I'm sorry for what they did to you. I'm sorry for what I did to you. And this is embarrassing to ask, but... Can you forgive me? Can you forgive us? You don't have to say it, and I don't need to hear it. I'll rest happy just knowing you'll feel it. After learning about my victims, 
in my head, I always placed them as those who survived and those who did suicide. And I asked myself, how, if there's any more victims, how can I get them to survive? How can I save them from suicide? And just now, I figured it all out, Salak, and I want to tell this to you. That the ones who forgave moved on and survived, and the ones who didn't kept holding on and did suicide. And so, because I want you to survive, Selleck, I asked you to forgive me. Or to forgive, rather. But goodbye. You still there, Nine? God, I'd like not to be. That was also embarrassing to say. <laughs> Glad you pushed through and sa still said it. Looking back on everything they, your other parts did, I'm happy it all happened. All wrong and evil, I'm grateful you did what you did to me. Because you showed me my weaknesses, you showed my, me my enemies, and you showed me what is false. And so now, I see what is strength, I see you as my friend, and I see the why of what is correct. I don't need you to feel grateful, I need you to feel forgiving. It feels contradictory. Can I be thankful and forgiving at the same time? Here. Here you can. Can you be... Thankful to the other eight, and be forgiving to me. <laughs> it's really important to me, and what all the worth of my consciousness is based on. That you forgive, so I know you will survive. I understand. And I'll say it, so I can feel it. I'm deeply grateful for them, for the other eight. And I forgive you, Nine. Do you feel anything... Funny, Salak, is saying that? Something funny, yes. Hard to explain. Please, try. Like, as if there was always this piece of weight on my chest that I never noticed. The moment I said that I forgive you, that weight on my chest flipped out of existence. And only after it vanished that I realized it was there, weighing me down all this time. And it's not anymore. It worked. Thank you. The ones who forgave moved on and survived. The ones who didn't kept holding on and did suicide. Wait, Nine? Have you forgiven yourself? I'll take that as a no. Ending 3.5. Survive a suicide. Okay. Let's try... It's all right then. Can't say I'm the hugest fan of this combat system in the world. There we go. One month after the release of False Narrative Game. Search something. Don't you think you're slipping back? Ah, uh, I am. Dude, stop. I really should. Okay, buddy, get out of that screen. Time for you to touch grass. Or better yet, hug it. <laughs> nice, tr a nice uh, bark texture. <laughs> Keep checking back on the things people are saying about me. Hmm. It do be addicting. Touching your name, knowing something new will pop up. It's not just that, is it? No, I... Yeah, I keep checking back to those places and on those people who've been plotting against me. Even when it's unrelated to me. Maybe because I'm trying to figure these people out. Alec, you're giving them too much attention. I see that, but you keep paying attention to the people who hate your work instead of paying it to the people who like your work. <clears throat> and it makes me angry that you, keep, you put up a face where you're so busy that you can't even respond to the people who are good to you. All the while, you're spending so much attention on... I get it, sucker. You don't have to say it. Then you say it. It's unnecessary. Say it.
fail to face what makes you uncomfortable by yourself, and you end up like the people, blaming some, some innocent for it. This could have been a game, highlighting the positive, and not the negative, of what people are saying about me. It could have been a game to uplift the people who have supported and, uplif and uplifted me, and not the people planning to bring me down. It could have been a game where I finally take the time to respond to all the good people on how much your words have carried me forward, instead of responding to those whose words are pushing me back. This could have been a game where I show fan art instead of AI art. Maybe making a game like that instead of this would have been a healthier choice. Do you regret what brought you here? No! Never! Anything you have ever done, you could have done better, yes, but you could have also done worse. So, never regret, okay? I agree. Regret is a poison. Then, what do I do? I guess the only thing you can... Uh, the only thing you can. Be grateful you made a choice, far better than other worse ones you could have. And now that you feel there's a better, healthier choice, be prepared to follow through with it. If, when, something similar happens in the future. When it happens, this is never going to end, is it? Look at the bright side. Endless sequels. Don't you think it's odd how what you wish would end quicker lasts forever? And what you wish would last forever ends even quicker? I'm confused. Is that a prescription or a description? Speaking of endings, this grass huggy wuggy right here could be made into another False narrative. Ending two. Touching grass. Ha! Okay. On these three endings, are there... Are there any more? According to the H.io page, the first ending has an additional scene if a certain condition is met, but... I... Don't actually- I don't know if I actually did pull that up. I'm not sure what the uh, point .5 stuff was. Was that the additional scenes? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Just gonna have to hope I found everything. Don't know what else I could do. Ah. Uh, and here I thought the third ending would have, would have been an appropriate climax. Uh, and I was a bit of... Oh, oh, a bit of, thought it was a bit unfortunate that I didn't get that last, but you know what? Ending number two, I think, was perhaps an even better ending. Or a better thing to end on, rather. Uh. Gotta say, besides the whole re meta stuff, the idea, it did sort of, the idea of like, sort of an int intriguing idea of having, uh, of having someone essentially be friends with the friend they're the uh, uh, one of the personalities one of the pieces of one of their worst enemies that's an interesting idea actually Your story hmm. intriguing certainly It would be, uh, for, max for maximum awkwardness, you could even have a rom- uh, I could even have a romance bloom between them. <laughs> that would be really weird. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So yeah, that was False Narrative by Salak Hussein. Uh, a game about... about all the, uh, well, I don't know, even know what to say. It's, there's, it's, a, it's a lot of, it's about a lot of things. <sighs> a lot of things which people just don't take, just like with, uh, just like with, uh, false server, it's a lot of things that people just don't really take seriously, much to the world's detriment. But, without any further ado, 
I have been Joe Bob, and I... <coughs> actually, and... This is... Sadly, where our journey ends, for now, uh, for now at least. Since this is the last game that... The, the most recent game that Salik has made. And it's also the first one that has not been alpha in, in alphabetical order. If you'll notice, like, all the other ones, uh, like, I have their folder, I have, like, their folders downloaded, and all of them are in, like, perfect alphabetical order for the, order that they're in, that I play them in, but <laughs> this one is not. It's between Mercy and Rebirth. Funny that. Although, if you had it be full, uh, if you removed the narrative and just had it full survive edition, that would actually be an up in a corner. Uh, but yeah, this is where our paths diverge, Salak. For now. But just, just remember, if you ever want to see me again, ever need me to call me back, you know how to do that, don't you? Just give me something to return to. But without any further ado whatsoever, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, except you, Salak, and sayonara, suckers.